Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving an interesting equation 3 times x -th root of 81 minus 10 times x -th root of 9 plus 3 equal to 0. While solving this problem, I will use exponent exponent loss properties. Then I will use quadratic equation, we will conclude our result and then we will verify also. So let's get started by writing the given exponential equation in the form of power so 3 times 81 power is 1 over x minus 10 times 9 power 1 over x plus 3 equal to 0 okay now i can write 81 as 9 square so i will be writing 3 times 9 square whole power 1 over x minus 10 times 9 power 1 over x. Now the exponent properties or laws will come into the picture. Let me write the first one which is a power b whole power c. This can be written as a power b c or a power c whole power b. So I will use this last relation first. How? Let me show you 3 times 9 power 1 over x. I am swiping the powers. These two powers by the property of a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b. So this whole power will be 2 minus 10 times 9 whole power 1 over x plus 3 equal to 0. Now it is easily visible. If I will give substitution, then I will write, let me write here, let 9 power 1 over x is equal to t. So equation will convert into 3t square minus 10t plus 3 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation in t. I will use quadratic formula. So I will write t is equal to minus b. So minus of minus 10, 10 plus minus under the root minus 10 is square minus 4 times 3 times 3 4 ac divided by 2 times 3 so in next step i can write 10 plus minus the square root of 100 minus 36 3 3 are 9 times 4 36 divided by 6 so next step i will write let me write here t equal to 10 plus minus the square root 100 minus 36 64 divided by 6. So I will get 10 plus minus 8 divided by 6. So if I will consider plus sign then I will write 10 plus 8 by 6. And if I will consider minus sign, then I can write by 6. So I will be having 18 over 6, 2 over 6. So in totality, I will have 3 and 1 over 3. So this is t value. What was our substitution? 9 power 1 over x was our t. Okay, so let me write here first t equal to 3 and then t equal to 1 over 3. Okay, I will substitute, I will put back the value of t. So it is 9 power 1 over x is equal to 3 and here I can write 9 power 1 over x is equal to 1 by 3. 
take x at power x power both sides. What I am saying, let me write here this power x. So this power would be x. So left hand side will be 9, right side would be 3 power x. Now you can see we can write this 3 square, 3 power x, comparing both sides. Once its base is same, power must be same. So x will be equal to 2. Now come to this equation. I will write same thing I will do. Raise both sides power x. So a power b whole power c, a power b c, multiply you will get. So I will get LHS as 9, RHS as 1 over 3 power x. This I can write 3 power minus 1 power x. Or I can write by the property of a power b power c equal to a power b c. So I can write minus x. And 9 is 3 square. So 3 power minus x. Once base is same, your power must be, exponent must be same, these two values. So from here I can conclude x must be equal to minus 2. Now let's verify, both the values we will verify. Let me write here x is equal to 2 first. And above all I will write verification. Okay. So I am writing 3 power a square root of 81 minus 10 times a square root of 9 plus 3. This is our LHS. We will find out what is coming out RHS. So 3 times root 90, 81 is 9 minus 10 times root 9 is 3 plus 3. 27 minus 30 plus 3. 30 minus 30, which is 0, which is equal to RHS. Hence verified. Okay, now let's consider x is equal to minus 2 value. Okay, I will write here 3 and then I will write how I should write. I will write 81 raised to the power minus 1 over 2 minus 10 9 raised to the power minus 1 over 2 plus 3. Now we will find out RHS. So no need to write equal to sign. Okay. Now I will write 3. It is 9 is square. Power is minus half. Minus 10. It is again I will write 3 square power is minus half plus 3. So this half half term will get over. So what is left? 3 times 9 power minus 1. Minus 10 times 3 power minus 1 plus 3. In next step I will write 3 over 9, 9 power minus 1 a raised to the power minus 1 that is equal to 1 over a minus 10 over 3 plus 3. In next step I can write 3 and 9 and I will cancel 1 by 3 minus 10 by 3 3 I can write 9 by 3. Now you can say it is common denominator 3 9 plus 1 is 10 10 minus 10 by 3 so that value is 0 by 3 0 which is our RHS and it is verified so this value is also true I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck